Hi, this is Ben from Literature Review HQ, and today I'm going to talk about something that completely revolutionised the way that I read um, academic literature online. Okay, so the question that I've been asked is, is how do I organise articles that I've downloaded? Um, and this always, always, always used to be a problem for me. Um, the thing is, I recommend very, very strongly that you download the articles that you that you need that you want every single article if you're going to reference it I think it's important that you download it and have a copy of the article somewhere that you can access very very quickly and easily um, this is because you know you can you can access a lot of articles online now but you never know when when that's going to change when the permissions and when the the uh, online access is going to change for you whether it, you know you, you you lose your password, or whether it's temporarily unavailable, and that can be very important. You know, if you're coming up to a deadline and you need to read a paper quickly and you can't access it, that's a problem. So downloading is the the obvious answer to that. As soon as you read it, you download it and you save it somewhere that you can access it very very quickly. So I'll always try and get the PDF version of that, which is normally quite easy to come by. Um. And it's it's easy to read for me as well, you know, because the the pictures and the, the figures are in appropriate places, the text is appropriate size, and all that kind of thing. However, it's not always possible, and if it's not, I'll download the web page which contains the full text, which isn't always as easy to read, but it's also very useful because it contains links, so you can always click on the links to references and normally find references very very easily from that. The problem being, obviously, is if you're downloading everything, then you're going to have a lot of references, and finding the appropriate reference can be like finding trying to find a needle in a haystack. So what's the trick? How do I do it? Now, some of you are probably aware that um, there are some reference management software tools that will actually take PDFs, you can you can show them a file full of PDFs and it will read them, organize them and make them searchable, which is it's brilliant, it's fantastic. However, um I don't like to rely on that as a method for searching my um searching my, my PDFs because it means that you always need to have access to that reference management software, which is kind of another link in the chain that could break down. Um, you know, you, if you wanted to access it from another computer remotely and you didn't have that reference management software, you wouldn't be able to do it. If you wanted to change reference management software, that would be a big problem. Um, and so on and so on. So I've found a way around this so that you don't need any reference management software to organize the references that you download. And the trick is so simple. It's to do the way that you name your folders, name your, your downloads. So I just name them like this, year, underscore, first author, underscore, and then the journal. And that's it. That will organize all of your reference for you, make them searchable by year, by the first author, and by the journal. And, and they, they are basically the three most important things to try and find any journal article. So here's just an example. Um, so you've got the year, 2008, the first author, Jones, A.P, and then the journal, J Transmed. It's that simple, and that will work every time. It means that your downloaded documents are always, always, always ordered by the year, so they'll be in chronological order, and you'll be able to search them through your, your operating system. You can search the folder in which they're in. But there's more. So some of you may very rightly say that, um, well, you can't search for the title, you can't search for keywords if you do it that way. Okay, that's fair enough. So why not put them in? You can add strings of keywords onto the end of a, a file name like that, to, as you would use tags in in any kind of um, kind of social media where you would tag things. Um, to make it even more searchable 
so you can add tags such as keywords from the title um, tags such as the date that you found it tags such as other key key authors so here's an example of what I mean it's the same the same uh, article as before but I've just included these tags on the end so we've got tag 1 tag 2 tag 3 tag 100 you literally there's no um, there's no limit to the number of tags you can use it doesn't matter it may look a little bit uh, a little bit cluttered here now but the fact is because you've got all this at the very start the 2008 they will all still be ordered in chronological order and you'll still only be reading this first bit this first section at the very beginning it just means that with these extra tags on the end you can actually search for, for important words in the document so you can say you can even tag you know you can you can put anything in there that is relevant to the document that you're that you're saving so like I said the, the file name itself contains extra information that you can search for so some of the things that I think about putting into these tags are the date that I actually found the article that can be useful if you if you know that you found a few articles on the same date you can search for that date and then find all the articles that you found on that day the person who recommended the article now this is a great trick you know when people recommend especially supervisors recommend an article to you and then a few months later they say oh remember that article that I sent you and I hardly ever remember but what I can do now is I go back to my folder full of all the articles that I've downloaded I type in the name of my supervisor and all the articles that he's sent me or recommended will come up so I can look and then it's not ideal but the next time I see him say oh yeah I do remember that article actually yeah I read it it was very interesting so it's, uh, it's quite a good trick um, put other important authors in there so if there's there's more authors that you know or recognize or kind of last authors and you want to be able to search for them then put those in keywords to do with the title the abstract absolutely anything you want to make it easier to find them. <coughs> so that's it I hope that helps that has really really uh, helps me in the way that I searched through my my documents that I've downloaded and um, if that was interesting to you please check out my blog at www.literaturereviewhq.com or um, look me up on Twitter uh, and my my Twitter handle is at litreviewhq.